Good morning. Um, at Dine with Nine uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, those of us gathered were surprised to discover that each of us were third generation people um, and that our grandparents were all immigrants from Ukraine to Ireland um, and that we were raised Catholic, Presbyterian, Jewish, and other denominations or sects or none. I've been thinking about this, so here's my meditation. I offer a big thank you to our grandparents. Whether born in this country or immigrants to this country, whether they were adopted or adopted children along the way or birthed our parents and for generations back, I appreciate them. In my thinking, a thank you and an appreciation are spiritual thoughts thoughts of connection, thoughts of mystery. I would have to imagine three of my four grandparents. They were not long lived. I wish for a family reunion of all the cousins, aunts, uncles, and of other generations who I never met, and my parents and siblings so they could meet my children and grandchildren. And I wish this reunion for all of you each one is precious. All the chatter and conversation about who the children grew up to be, who resembles whom, all the unknown adventures and travails they went through and will face in the future. They came from places that were home, where men had skills, where women had skills and raised children. They raised the money to travel to the United States Perhaps they had heard from relatives who could sponsor them. They left parents and siblings behind and friends and colleagues and rabbis and priests and ministers and congregants. They left knowing little English or had to decipher American English. They were like immigrants all over the world looking for new home bases and making perilous journeys to find new work and safety. When our forebears were entering the country in the 1900s and the 1910s, uh, they were admitted easily, uh, well, re relatively easily as Irish, Italian, Jews, Armenians, Scandinavians. What surprised them, I assume, was to encounter the power of racism, of color and origin. If you were descended from kidnapped and enslaved dark-skinned people, you were excluded from privilege. You were segregated from all the skin tones classified as white. If you lived for generations in what became California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, or were indigenous or of Mexican ancestry, your land was confiscated, or your jobs were limited to agriculture. All at the time when our grandparents were walking in not without limitations, but with paths far more open than those in this country who were considered non-white. Here in West Michigan, we are a collection of skin tone people who grew up white. I wonder if our grandparents knew if they would be privileged. I'm sure they didn't feel it. They needed to learn English, they needed to find work, they needed to establish families, all in the hopes that we would be who we are as well as the future generations. Spiritual actions, which would be to make others, would be to make others radically welcome to C3, to West Michigan, to this country, 
and value our common humanity, no matter what epidermal shade we are on the Pantone color chart, and also the common humanity of the cultural gifts that we have inside. Thank you.